वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स सीन द कंसोलिडेशन टेस्ट एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव सीन द outcomes of the consolidation test which is nothing but the finding it out the coefficient of the consolidation and we will be correlating this particular coefficient of the consolidation in the field in order to determine how much time the soil will take to consolidate that suppose 50% or 60% of the degree of the consolidation so we will be getting that particular time and that particular time we are more interested in the calculation so for the determination of this coefficient of consolidation we have the two methods the first method is laid by the kasegarande and another method is laid by taylor and the kasegarande method is also called as a log method or log of time fitting method why it is called as log of time fitting method because in the kasegarande plot we will be plotting dial gauge reading or the degree of the consolidation i will write the dial gauge reading by the small d or the dial gauge i'll write it total dial gauge reading versus we will be plotting time on the logarithmic axis so therefore it is also called as log of the time fitting method and the taylor's method is also called as square root of the time method square root of time fitting method and this particular method as a name uh, suggests the y axis would be the square root of the time sorry not the y x axis would be the square root of time but the y axis is the same dial gauge reading because only this reading we will be getting during the consolidation plot and uh, so therefore you will be getting the plot uh, for this particular taylor's case square root of time will be getting like this and for this particular case we will be getting like this so we will see this particular uh, method which is nothing but the graphical method to determine the coefficient of consolidation we will start with the first method kasegarande method kasegarande log of time fitting method so therefore as per as this particular method is concerned uh, well, I, i'll draw the graph of the dial gauge reading versus the time on the logarithmic axis so on the y axis it is the dial gauge reading and that reading is uh, increasing from top to bottom so readings are increasing it's a reverse scale and the plot you will be getting it like this way we are getting a curve of s size you get the s curve over here and what you will be doing uh, uh, okay so uh, uh, before going to that the kasegarande has a uh, fixed about the 50 he has emphasized about 50% of the consolidation so 50% of the consolidation means the degree of consolidation is 50% he has considered about the 50% consolidation value as r50 value as r50 value so we will be more interested in calculating the t50 value the time required for a lab in a, in a lab to take in order to reach the 50% of the consolidation so we'll be interested in this particular calculation but we are known of this particular curve this particular curve is known from the consolidation test and uh, the procedure is as follows to calculate the 50 value 50% value to know 50% value you know from where you need to have a zero reading or from where the degree is 0% or from where cons primary consolidation is starting and from where the primary consolidation ending so once you know about this starting and ending phase you can calculate the midway and you can calculate the time corresponding to the mid point uh, which is which, which means that the 50% consolidation time so so in order to mark the 0% as the initial uh, of the primary consolidation and the 100% Uh, degree or, or the 
commencement of the primary consolidation, the following procedure is laid by the Casa Grande. So this procedure is as follows. So you need to draw the tangent line to the rarer part which is the straight part. To the tail end you need to draw a straight line and in, to the middle of the part which is a straight you need to extend this part. So where these two part intersect that corresponding point will call it as the end of the primary consolidation. So this particular point is the end of the primary consolidation. It is the end of the primary consolidation and the, which indicates that u is 100 percent this indicate u is 100 percent and uh, we the, we get the t corresponding to 100 percent consolidation theoretically obviously and uh, to mark the zero percent or the from where the primary consolidation is starting what the Kachagrande told is that you need to take the time intervals in such a way that the T1 would be if you if you have taken the T1 in the initial part of the curve, then you need to take the T2 which is equal to four times of T4, and you need to project it on the curve, and you need to find it out the vertical distance between these two. Let's suppose this as x, and correspondingly you need to move x in the upward direction and you need to draw the horizontal line so this is also the x and where it meets the uh, this particular y axis we call it as r0 or we call it as the corrected zero reading which indicates that it is from this particular point the consolidation or primary consolidation is starting so this is the start of the primary consolidation and this is the end of the primary consolidation and from from this end you will get the r100 value where the so primary consolidation is ending and this is the point where the primary consolidation is starting so from this two point you can easily calculate r50 value which indicates the dialogous reading corresponding to 50% of the consolidation and you just need to take it to the extent this particular reading to the curve and you need to find out the time corresponding to the 50% value. So once you get to know about this particular value time corresponding to 50% value you will be placing it in the this equation and calculating the CV value. So TV is equal to CVT divided by D square right. Uh, D is already known to you, TV is known to you from U equal to 50%, TV will be equal to uh, pi by 4 into 0.5 square, you will do arithmetic calculation, you will you'll, you'll know TV value, you will know the T corresponding to the 50%, this time required for 50% consolidation in laboratory, you know the thickness and from this you can calculate the coefficient of the consolidation, you will be getting. For, for, from from this particular equation. So this is the first uh, procedure which is uh, given by the Casagrande uh, name. It has the log of the time fitting method, and the second procedure is given by the Taylor, uh, which is the square root of time fitting method. It is a Taylor's square root of time fitting method. So again, uh, as the name says, that uh, square root of time, the x-axis would be the under root of the time. Y-axis will remain the same. This is the under root of the time t. And uh, this particular uh, axis, we call uh, y-axis, the dial gauge reading. And uh, as far as this particular test is concerned, square root of the time fitting, the main uh, purpose of this particular test is that the uh, we'll be will be getting the CV value. But the principle used in this test is as follows: 
the tailor uh, has observed that the abscess of the curve at 90% of the consolidation was 1.15 times the abscess of the extension of the straight line so what what that means that uh, if you get this particular curve i hope you will get it like this you'll be getting the initial uh, straight part or the in, in midway the straight part and what he has observed if you extend it on the back side this particular straight part you will be getting corrected zero reading r not and you will be getting this part as the initial compression initial compression also meaning that uh, you will be getting immediate uh, comp uh, immediate settlement this particular part cor corresponds to the immediate settlement and uh, as far as this particular straight line is concerned the tailor says that this particular part so if you just uh, take or if you if you reduce the gradient of this curve by 1.15 percent then you will be getting the line which will intersect at this particular value this curve at the 90 percent consolidation value so here as this uh, curve of between the dial gauge reading versus root t is known to you from the consolidation test you will be first of all this curve it has got the distinct characteristics that this curve is linear up to the 60 percent of the consolidation value so you need to extend back this particular curve to meet the y-axis and where it wherever it meets the y-axis that particular value we call it as the r naught which is nothing but the corrected zero reading so and the settlement which is going to occur up to this particular r naught value that particular settlement we will be calling it as because of the just uh, initial compression or that is that means because of the rearrangement of the soil particles that is happening because of the application of the load so uh, so, it, so you for initially you need to calculate the slope of this particular line and the gradient i'll call it as this particular line as m in order to calculate the coefficient of the consolidation you must need some uh, theoretical background the tailor said that the time or or the i call it as the abscess or, or or the slope of this particular line you need to reduce or you need to divide it by 1.15 so that you will get the time corresponding to 90 percent of the consolidation so taylor used this particular philosophy to define the coefficient of the consolidation so this particular curve starting from this particular r naught value has to be reduced in such a way that the slope of this particular line m2 m2 will become equal to m divided by 1.15 and once you get to know about this particular value of the slope which is reduced slope of the line you can calculate the cv as follows cv you know which is equal to tv d square by t90 so wherever this particular curve which has got the slope equal to m2 which is nothing but the reduced slope wherever it meets the original line the point corresponding to that you will be getting the value of t90 and corresponding value of t90 you will be placing in this equation and uh, always in this particular equation the thickness of the clay layer is known to you which is nothing but the 25 mm suppose the there is one way drainage then it's 25 mm and if it is a two way drainage it would be 25 divided by 2 that means 12.5 so d is also known to you and the time factor corresponding to 90 percent of the consolidation equals to 0.846 something like that and also you can calculate time factor if you know that the degree of consolidation equal to 90 percent for that you will calculate the cv value but the base what the tailor used is that you need to reduce this particular slope value to the existing original slope of m by 1.15 and the reading corresponding to the 90 percent of the consolidation is called as r90 that is the dial gate reading corresponding to the 90 percent of the consolidation of the clay but we are not here just bother about this particular r90 value we are only bothered about this particular t90 value and once you get to know about the t t90 value that is the time factor corresponding to 90 percent of the consolidation the you can place this value in this particular expression and you can calculate uh, the coefficient of the consolidation by the taylor's square root of the time fitting method so we are not bothered about the r90 value 
and uh, this particular expression you will be getting the root of the t90 and the root of the t90 value and you need to square it and you need to place it place it in this equation uh, remember this is the theoretical whatever the theoretical curve we have uh, just drawn in this in this uh, diagram this theoretical curve is linear the relationship between the u and uh, the dial gauge reading with respect to the time is linear up to the up to 60% of the consolidation so this particular uh, is r60 value so up to 60% of the consolidation degree of consolidation consolidation the uh, I'll call this as a theoretical curve theoretical curve is linear or this is a straight line and and probably this particular straight line you have extended backward to get the r0 value and from that point you have uh, in decreased the uh, slope right, by the factor 1 by uh, 1.15 and you find it out the root of t90 value from that you can you just need to square it this particular value you will placing it in this equation we will be calculating the coefficient of the consolidation by Taylor square root of the time fitting so in this uh, particular topic, we have seen how to determine the coefficient of the consolidation from the lab test results. And in the next uh, subsequent uh, lectures, we will be discussing the competitions of the settlement and then thereafter we will be solving the problems which will help us uh, in your inner city and as well as in the competitive examinations. Thank you.